we have chi from food, we have chi from the air, we have chi from our uh, from what we inherit from our parents, and those combined will produce the chi, the chi that we are able to use for our body function. A lot of people uh, can use the word energy for chi, but that doesn't encompass all that chi does. We can look at chi as not just the energy that makes our bodies move, but what are the different components that contribute to that uh, function and motion. You know, for example, the air we breathe, you know, that, that supplies uh, oxygen, for example, to help with the metabolic process within our bodies. The food that we eat will provide the material that we need to, uh, for example, burn in our bodies to produce that energy. The genetic makeup we have that we inherit from our parents and before, that also contributes to how you know, the metabolic process also occurs. Right? So all those components, all of them are part of qi, and each of them are different aspects of qi. Chi can also be explained by, uh, at the cellular level, the mitochondrial process and the ATP process in which energy is released and then used by the cells and, the, and therefore by the body as a whole. So in summary, Chi can be explained as what we need to live. Yeah. And not only live, but live well. <laughs>